Hey guys, it's Alec Torelli and welcome to an episode of Ask Alec where I take your questions on poker, answer them in quick videos here for you. Today I'm bringing you this one from Antibes, one of my favorite places in the world in the French Riviera here on holiday and behind me is the entire old town, a must see if you ever get to this part of the world. I have an exciting announcement to make. Uh, we are doing my 100th episode of Hello Alec where I take your poker hands and feature them on my YouTube channel. It's a chance for you guys to participate. The whole community gets together and comments and shares uh, feedback about the hands and I've been participating too and it's um, how I choose my hands for my hand of the day channel as you guys know. So in honor of the 100th episode, we just decided to do something special and I'm going to be featuring my responses to Hello Alec more frequently. I've gotten so many people that ask me, hey, can you, you know, chime in more in the comments or how can I get my hand you know, talked about by you directly, but of course, I don't have a clone and I can't spend all day every day uh, doing hand of the day videos and stuff like that, so I've been trying to think of how can I get you guys more feedback. So my team and I came up with a really creative solution and we're gonna be featuring uh, your Hello Alec videos from now on, starting at the 100th episode, on my Instagram every day. So if you check out Alec Trelly on Instagram, you'll be able to see uh, a post every single day that there's a Hello Alec and um, there'll be the hand, as well as some comments from readers. And on my Snapchat, uh, Alec Torelli on Snapchat, I encourage you to download it if you haven't already and follow me. I will be giving you my feedback um, every day for a minute or two on Snapchat about the Hello Alec hand. So this is a way that I could do it in real time and give you guys feedback for um, participating in the channel. So I'm really excited about that. Definitely check me out on Instagram and Snapchat and stay tuned for uh, more awesome content coming your way. So today's question comes from Isaiah who asks, I had a question regarding responding to players when they ask how much money you have behind. I myself tend to ignore the question in cash games seeing as I don't want to give away too much information and if I talk. I do lift up my arms, you know, exposing his chip stack so they can get an idea of what I have but I don't actually verbally answer. Most players just let me be, especially because I'm not much of a talker when I'm in a hand anyway. Uh, but some got really irate with me. One player in particular, uh, just because I didn't answer his question. Even though the dealers and the players, they sort of chimed in and helped answer the question for me, he still wasn't satisfied. I always felt answering people gives them an advantage about whether you could be bluffing or not. And I would like to know what's your take on this. Did I do anything wrong by not responding? Does it give anything away if I don't answer? Is it wrong to do this in tournaments? Any advice would be great. Well, Isaiah, good question. I will tell you what I personally do. I'm actually, you know, what the rule exactly is. I think that you are following it. I don't think that you have to verbally answer. And I think that if the player wants to know, they could ask the dealer and the dealer will actually count out your stack for you or the dealer will tell the player what you have. Um, but I think a lot of times, you know, what is technically the rule and what is, you know, proper etiquette aren't always exactly the same thing. So generally, I, I do what you do. I, sometimes I lift my arm up if it's like super obvious how much I have if I'm playing a cash game where um, they simply want to know if I have any big chips. Maybe I have some $5,000 chips and they just want to know how many I have or if I have any, so I lift my arm and whatever. Or sometimes I say any big chips and I just shake my head and say no or I say yes and I lift up my arm and I count them out or whatever. Um, I feel like most of the time players ask this, it's very genuine and so I think one thing I would recommend for you to always keep in mind is exactly how much you have. This is especially true in tournaments where stack size is so, so important and it changes so often and it changes the strategy that everyone adopts in a certain hand. In cash games it's just not the case because most of the time people have always over 100 big lines and the stacks are so deep that people don't really ask that often because it doesn't apply to whether or not someone's gonna three bet pre-flop or whatever. It's just um, taken for granted that everybody has over a certain amount. Um, so I feel like most of the time people ask this, they're just being genuine and I generally verbally say, uh, you know, 500, how much do you have? 500 or whatever, 100, whatever it is. And I'll just say my amount out loud and I'll always know it in my head and I feel like saying a one word numeric answer doesn't really give away too much about what I have. I don't think people are really trying to get a read. If in the case of this particular gentleman who was you know, clearly out of line, I mean, it was clear that he already had his question answered and he was, for some reason, took it personally and offended that you didn't answer his question, uh, I think that's a little silly and nonsensical. So I don't think you really have to worry about people that do that or 
the extreme cases where people are really trying to get under your skin, or it was clear that he was sort of using the general etiquette of the game to take advantage of the situation and actually try to get a read on you. If that's the case, I would simply lift my arm and not say anything. I would probably be a little bit stubborn because it's, it's not really in the spirit of the game. The guy is trying to sort of pull a cheap one on you and try and get a read by making you do something that isn't really about what he's trying to make you do. So he doesn't really care about how much you have. His question was answered and he's still trying to get information from you. It's kind of tantamount to someone saying, oh, where are you from? Or, uh, you know, what do you do for a living in the middle of a hand just to try and understand more about you. So in that case, of course you're not required to respond. But general, people are trying to be polite. Um, there's times where you're gonna wanna know their stack too and it's kind of convenient if they just say, oh, I have 36,000 or whatever. So in those cases, I would respond. Maybe you could even practice this, but I think one thing that's really helpful in doing this is just knowing how much you have at all times and just saying the number out loud quickly and easily. All right, I hope that answered your question. Pretty simple, um, but you know, do what you're comfortable with overall and um, do what's right for you, man. Don't, don't feel any pressure from other people that are just trying to get under your skin. That's, that's the big one here. All right, Isaiah, hope you like this one. And uh, if you guys have questions you'd like me to answer, shoot them over to me on my blog, alectrelly.com. Look out for the new Hello Alex series. I'm really excited to feature that. And uh, 100th video coming up soon for Hello Alex. So stay tuned to my YouTube, subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Cheers.